That's the best you can do? Watch this. Get on the floor and let's shake some ass as we're fiery and hot, not calm and placid. We burn through material and make it quick. We even digest the food in your acidic stomach. It is I, the pH scale. If I were to rate your singing on a scale of 0 to 14, acids would be below 7 and bases would be above 7. And you are about to find out why. So what is pH? pH stands for potential of hydrogen and it can range from 0 to 14 on the pH scale. It's used to determine if a substance is an acid or a base. This is one of three ways that you can determine if a substance is acidic or basic and the other two ways are listed in the video, so let's begin. So first off, what's the pH scale? Well, it helps to determine whether a substance is an acid or a base, and how acidic or basic it is. It's numbered from 0 or 1 to 14, and the midway point, number 7, means that the substance is neutral. Anything below 7 means the substance is an acid, and anything above 7 means the substance is a base. How acidic a substance is increases as you go down the pH scale. The lower the number, the more acidic. For example, let's say that there are two substances. Substance A is pH 6, and substance B is pH 1, which is more acidic. The lower number here is 1, so substance B is more acidic. For bases, it's the complete opposite. The higher the number is on the pH scale, the more basic the substance will be. So let's try this again, but with bases this time. Substance A has a pH of 9, and substance B has a pH of 14, which is more basic. 14 is the higher number, so substance B would be more basic. Besides measuring the pH of a substance to see if it's an acid or a base, we can actually use something called litmus paper. If you put drops of a liquid onto litmus paper and you observe its color, you can tell whether it's an acid or a base. If you drop an acid on blue litmus paper, it will turn red. If you drop an acid on red litmus paper, it'll stay the same. If you drop a base on red litmus paper, it will turn blue. And if you drop a base on blue litmus paper, it will stay the same. A way to remember this is base and blue both start with the letter B. So base equals blue and acid equals red. Let's try some examples. Are these substances an acid or a base? The first one turned blue litmus paper red and made the red paper stay red. The second one turned red to blue and made the blue paper stay blue. The first one made the litmus paper turn to red, so it has to be an acid. The second one made the paper turn to blue, so it has to be a base. Acids and bases have a lot of differences, so let's put them in a chart for you. Acids react with metals and carbonates, while bases do not. Acids also taste sour and bases taste bitter. Acids are the color red and bases are the color blue. And last but not least, acids are corrosive, which means they wear away materials, and bases are nowhere near corrosive. They have a lot of differences, but they have one thing in common. Acids and bases react with each other. Let's take a strong acid, a pH 2, for example, and make it react with a strong base, a pH 12. What they form is a weaker, more neutral solution. This is what we call neutralization. Another way to identify an acid or a base is to put the substance in water. If you put an acid in water, it will produce H+, hydrogen ions. The stronger the acid is, the more hydrogen ions it will produce. Now let's talk about bases. If you put a base in water, it will produce OH-, hydroxide ions. The stronger the base is, the more ions it will produce. Let's try to find if the substances are an acid or a base and if they're weak or strong. The first one produces hydrogen ions, so it has to be an acid. It also produces less ions, so it would be a weaker substance. The answer would be a weak acid. Let's check out the next one. This one produces a lot of OH- ions, so it has to be a base. Since it produces more ions, it would be a stronger substance, so the answer would be a strong base. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And besides, what's not to like about likable science?